So here we go again with Jim Carrey. Yes, I'm doing another video. This this man just makes me sick. He's an absolute fraud. Jim Carrey, who was once at the top of the world, according to his negotiation with the devil, with Satan, he was one of the top box office draws for many, many years. Now he's not in demand anymore. He began to kind of go crazy. All kinds of pantheistic new age mumbo jumbo were all made of tetrahedrons. And I just find that so funny. Everybody said, well, Jim's awakening. He's awakening. But then you look at every time there's a headline, Jim Carrey, if he doesn't like you, he'll come out and paint a funny, mean picture of you. Now, according to him, embracing the Christ consciousness, what does he care what people like Sean Hannity are doing? Let's click on this. We're just going to kind of do this live. Um, let me get into, sorry, my computer's running a little slow. The full story here. This is what Jim Carrey's career has come to now, is he embraces his liberal satanic agenda. Now, make no mistake, I'm not here arguing for left or right or conservative or liberal. I'm here specifically against this guy because he's embraced his Satanism. He made his deal with the devil. And again, we know you can't sell your soul, but you know, there's no doubt that he negotiated for his success. He, he did exactly what he was told, and now he's not needed or wanted anymore. His fame lingers a little bit, so now he just paints childish, mean pictures if he doesn't like what you're doing, which, again, is the complete opposite to you. You know, you've heard his rambling speeches of, hey, man, let's just all love each other, and we're all just energy, and we got to be positive energy. But yet he goes out and every single week, you know, Jim Carrey painted a new picture because he didn't like Donald Trump. Here's the one, you know, what does this have to do with tetrahedrons, Jim? Because you're an absolute phony. You're like a child who's ever in the news. Oh, I didn't like what they did, so I'm going to retreat to my art room and paint a childish, mean doodle. This is Jim Carrey. This is Jim Carrey, right? You've got to you've got to ask yourself why is he doing this? Well, because he's not in demand. He doesn't know how to reconcile his life anymore. So he started on the tetrahedron, the awakening, but now it's childish cartoons. Here's another one on Hannity and uh, who's the guy from Prison Planet? Uh, Alex Jones. Alex Jones. And, of course, here's the doodles that he's done of Donald Trump. He's quite disgusting. This guy is demented. Not sure who this is. I find it just so extraordinarily that as a man, Jim, who you know the only reason you became famous is because you negotiated, that you have the, the gall to put a 666 above somebody else's head when that's exactly what you did. Now, there's no Christ consciousness here. You either accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior where you're going down, and you're going down, bro, because of what you did, and because you embrace and you stand very stubbornly in your Satanism. And now this is going to be your legacy, painting funny doodles against those that you don't like or don't agree with, as though all this was real anyway. So we have to be a voice of opposition to this satanic moron, Jim Carrey, who once had the world at his fingertips. And now look what this is resorted to, doing funny pictures of people like Sarah Huckabee. Hold on, my computer's acting a little bit. Called her monstrous. As though, again, as though this is real. Well, Jim, here's a question for you. Where's your tetrahedrons now? I thought that the, the energy of Tetra, he, we're, we're all really not here anyway. You're not here. I'm not here. It's just positive or negative energy. We don't exist. What do you care then? It seems like you intentionally are a hypocrite against yourself as you throw negative energy at 
Sarah Huckabee and Donald Trump and Sean Hannity. And it just, I find it, all it does is prove that you're an absolute fraud and a hypocrite. You are on the side of Satan and you can't resonate in your life what it is that you did. But I'll tell you, Jim, there is a way you can still be saved. Throw all the, this junk doesn't matter anyway. Come to Jesus Christ. Admit what you did for as long as they'll let you live. Admit what you did and confess Jesus Christ as the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Then you shall have eternity with Jesus Christ. I'm not talking about Christ consciousness or Scientology. Come to the living God, Jesus Christ, and admit what you did, you pathetic fraud. All right, so finally, I'm going to leave you with this. We're in the book of Mark. Now, Jim, as a figure of speech, we know what you did. You negotiated with Satan. You sold your soul as a figure of speech. Again, we know you can't sell your soul, actually, but you pledged it. You negotiated for your fame and fortune with the devil. You know this. You have a chance. You have a chance. This does not deem you unforgivable. You can come to the living God through Jesus Christ. Confess what you did. Try to help others who have done this and expose this industry. This evil Hollywood music slash arts industry. You can come to Jesus Christ, confess him as Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Even in scripture, in Mark chapter 8, it says, What shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? You had fame and fortune for a season. Is that worth eternity separated from God? I know a lot of people are not going to like what I'm saying. You'll see the evil comments below from those godless atheists who just hate that I'm teaching or preaching this, but Jesus really is the only way. And you're finding that out. They don't want you anymore. They've kicked you to the curb. You're just trying to stay relevant because you're not in demand. Well, I'll tell you what, you are. God actually still loves you, the one true God in Jesus' name. But it's the stubbornness, it's the demons that keep you from coming to the truth. And so instead, you try to first embrace tetrahedrons and positive energy. That doesn't work. So now you resort to rebelling against the system, which is fake anyway, drawing funny doodles of politicians. That's not going to work. This is your chance. With the time you have left, come to Jesus Christ. Confess what you did. Help others to break free from this industry. Stop acting like a lunatic and a child running to the corner to draw a picture of somebody every time you don't agree with something that's not real anyway.